welcome back to another episode of Boxing Out with Bailey. I'm your host, Bailey Eichner, and today we have a very special guest. Not only is Coach Swanson my coach, but he is the 2020 CAA Women's Basketball Co-Coach of the Year after leading us to a historic season of 12 conference wins and 21 wins overall. Coach, it's great to have you here. Thanks, Bailey. I've been watching your episodes and I'm, uh, I'm privileged to be on with you. <laughs> Thank you. So coach, I want to take us back to March. You know, we just had our shoot around at Elon. What were your thoughts going into that Delaware game? Yeah, I've talked about that often, Bailey, and, uh, and since you were you were there and experienced it, I, I was, you know, I was extremely nervous heading down to the CAA tournament because uh, I, I thought we, we, we had a terrific year and uh, uh, I was wor really worried about us, you know, maybe being too nervous or over anxious in regards to heading into, the, into our first round game with Delaware. Uh, but uh, the day before practice at Elon and that shoot around, I thought our team uh, played with uh, practice with such enthusiasm, such energy. Um, that actually, the day before the, the, the Delaware game, we were practicing in Elon's practice gym. And I actually had an extra seven minutes of us going up and down, but I thought we were competing so hard that I was afraid somebody would tweak an ankle in that last seven minutes. So I, I it's the best I thought. I've been a head coach now for 30 years, and it was one of the best I felt heading into a tournament that I thought we were in the right place mentally, physically, emotionally, um, energy-wise. And uh, I thought we were in a real good place to put our best foot forward you know, at the CAA tournament. Unfortunately, obviously, the pandemic got away and we, we didn't get the chance to realize our, our goal from last year. But I, I thought it was the best. And you know, a lot of credit's got to go to, to Ray Eady and uh, and I think my or our trainer did it both did a terrific job of getting us in a, in a really good place, along with the players in terms of taking care of themselves the whole year. Yeah, coach, I mean, I've, I felt the best um, at that CAA tournament. I know a lot of people that I've even talked to on the team felt the exact same way. And I think we kind of knew when we got that text, you know, come on down, we gotta talk to you guys. I know, I remember looking at you and just being like, I know what's I know what's coming. So it was definitely um, an upset, but I mean, there's a lot to look forward to this year. Um, and it doesn't take away from the success, success that we had last year. Something that I heard you tell Bobby Broyles uh, is that the CAA is the best kept secret in the country. You have to bring your A game every Friday, Sunday. I know something that you tell us, it's a 50-50 game, any game in the CAA. So was there a point last year um, where you felt like our team kind of gained confidence um, to have the season that we did? Was there a point or a certain game? Yeah. Uh, I don't know if there was a certain game. It was early on in the year, Bailey, and I don't know whether from a team standpoint or a player standpoint, where you guys felt the confidence and so forth, but it was really early on. I thought we had great practice habits uh, the whole um, postseason, the summer, and the preseason, and I thought things were just looking to gel. I thought we had one of our better passing teams, which I think is critical with team chemistry. But we competed hard on a daily uh, basis in practice. And th those first couple games, and I, I point back to the George Mason scrimmage as well. I don't know if you remember that, that you know we, we had a great scrimmage the week before against Hampton. And George Mason was on the road and we started off real slow. And, um, and, and we continue, I think we ended, even came, we were down by 15 points at one time in the first half and we fought back. But I thought it was just like kind of kind of a snowball effect. I really believe the beginning of the year we got off, we, we were practicing with high energy. We had a couple, um, we started off 3-0, uh, two road wins, two big road wins at Army and at uh, East Carolina. But I think it just, you know, it kind of steamrolled the, the entire year. And I could see it in each of our, that we took the floor each day expecting to win. And that was a great feeling. Um, you know, for a coach that we, we took that, that floor and we thought we were the better team each night. And I, it was just, I think, a series of things that as the season rolled on. Yeah, I completely agree, coach. I felt like it was just all season we came with, even every practice and every game, we had that competitive edge. And I think that was something that we were lacking um, since I've been here once I was a freshman, but I really felt like everyone was just dialed in the entire time. and. You know, we felt like losing wasn't an option. Yeah. And 
um, the team chemistry, I think, is something that really helped us um, the, the past year as well. But um, with COVID-19 and the limited ability to see recruits um, and have them visit, how was our program able to connect with them and have success? Yeah, I, I, you know, recruiting, I got, you know, Mary Gleason, who heads our, you know, recruiting efforts, has done a terrific job of organizing us and, and keeping us um, on track with our, with our recruiting. Um, we've completed our class for next year, so we actually have four verbal commitments that I'm not allowed to talk about now until they, they sign their letters of intent. Um, but our, it was a team effort, not only with the staff, with uh, Mary and Michelle, um, but Ray Eady, uh, Tony Bell, our academic person, um, and our players were the biggest part of it. We, we, we were on Zoom calls consistently, uh, and you know for probably about three or four weeks, we kept asking our players to get on the, hey, they want to talk to you, they want to talk to the players. And I don't think we skipped a beat. You know, where, where we kind of missed out a little bit is for next year's recruiting class, we weren't able to get out on the road as much and get a chance to evaluate, evaluate the, the, the next year's class, the class of 22. Um, but I thought a uh, total team effort this year, uh, you know, starting with the staff and the players and our support staff who, who have done an excellent job. So coach, I think you know my next question because you kind of brought it up in practice today, but you've been at the head coach at William & Mary for six years. Um, what has been your favorite memory so far? And I kind of know where it's gonna go, but um, I know you're kind of like it ha it's not that it's not we haven't yeah, had that you know, yet. There's been a lot, a lot of great memories. You know, a lot of big wins, Bailey. You've been part of a lot of them, um, and uh, there's a lot of a lot of personal accomplishments when you look at uh, Bianca Boggs and Eva making first team all league. And, Bree Bellamy on the all rook. So there's been, a, you know, Victoria Reynolds scoring her thousand points. Um, and, uh, you know, but I, I still believe the best memory is still yet to come. And, uh, and that's why I'm so excited about this year is we have, um, you know, three seniors who have played a lot, Nyla, uh, Gabby, and yourself. And, uh, and the three of you are great leaders, which bring great energy. And I know you guys would not lead, uh, love nothing but to leave your mark and leave your legacy um, with the CAA championship. So, um, like I said, I, I've enjoyed every minute here um, as the head coach at, Will, at William & Mary. Um, but I still think our best memory is, hasn't, been, hasn't been made yet. And I think that's coming in the near future. I completely agree, Coach, and Good. I know hopefully it's going to happen this year. We're really working hard. Um, just talking about the team, we've been working out for about a month now. What have you been seeing that you really like about um, the, our team, um, even anyone individually? Well, you know, what I'm really excited about is that we have three seniors, and we haven't had three seniors that have played um, major minutes for us in a long, long time. Um, I, I probably go back to, you know, Marlena Tremba and Alex Massingwell were probably, but we, you know, they, yourself, uh, Nyla and Gabby have been through the ups and downs, winning and losing, not playing, playing, starting, not starting. So I, I, I'm really going to lean on our, our, our three seniors um, to, you know, help us play with that sense of urgency. Then you add on top of that that we have three juniors, you know, that have really played a lot in Sid Wagner and Eva and uh, Emma Kraus, you know, those three have played a great deal. So we have a lot of game experience. That's important, you know, being able to play at James Madison, play at Drexel, prepare for the CAA tournament, the ups and downs of a long basketball season. So even up to last year, we only had really one true, you know, Victoria Reynolds was our major, a major minute player for us. Now we have three seniors there. So what I see is our, our, our upper class in leadership, our, our, you know, our upper class in, you know, that sense of urgency that you, you've talked about. Um, that's what I've seen early. I, you know, we're not in the best of shape. We've got time to, to fix that. Mm -hmm. um, you know, our chemistry, I think, is still there. I think that's going to be, we led the CAA and assists last year, and even you, Bailey, from a, a you know post position, you know you were one of our higher assist people as well. So the chemistry, I think, will come. I, I you know today in our workout was terrific, and and you know you could test. I said I figure it out. All right, teach the team, and and it was good seeing our upperclassmen kind of take hold of our freshmen and show them instead of me taking time to explain that our upperclassmen now are, are you know, our coaches on the floor as well. 
Yeah, today's practice felt great, Coach, and I think it was a great opportunity just for um, the leaders on our team to even take the opportunity to show their leadership, and it's going to translate um, when we start playing as well. Absolutely. Coach, thank you so much for being here today. Haley, thank you so much. We're so fortunate again to have you in our program. I hope all our fans can come watch you play this year. I'm keeping our fingers crossed, um, but we're looking forward to having a terrific, terrific season. Thank you guys so much for watching another episode of Boxing Out with Bailey. We will be back very soon. Thank you.